three years ago, I made a random inquiry by sending emails to all of the vanilla distributors in, in the UK and, and EU too, about the possibility of, of supplying them with the Indonesian vanilla. Only little pod came with a serious uh, uh, reply and, uh, and I was really touched and encouraged at the same time. Janet from the little pod not only uh, writing me an email but she actually gave me a call and said I would like to know you. I was born in Bali and uh, raised in a small holding farm in Bali and I, so basically I've been exposed to farming since I was very little. I and my wife who's British uh, have uh, a teenage son who need proper education that we didn't manage to find in Bali. We decided to move to Oxford. And when moving over here, I didn't manage to find my, my old job in public health uh, research. So I did a lot of volunteering which uh, related to farming and, and gardening. Um, that has been my my passion since I was a, since I was a child, and I found this farm, uh, a small uh, co-op called Cultivate Oxford, that is very happy to to use my uh, my farming skill. And since then, I I was I've been working for Cultivate Oxford. One thing that I was thinking about was going back to my childhood that I was, I, I was the son of a spice grower, which is vanilla and cloves. And so I'm going back home uh, to Bali um, to, to start my, uh, my vanilla plantation because um, uh, the only way that I could assure about my vanilla quality if I want to sell it is I have to grow my own organically by my community, by, my, by the local people in Bali that I know and process and will be, will be sold in the UK. This area used to be a center of vanilla growing in the island, but the crash of the price just drive us down and then cut down all of the vines and, and, and started growing other crops like cocoa and I converted this land for a while into a rice field, you know, dry land rice field. But vanilla is really sit in our heart because it's a beautiful plant. 